as you guys would have just seen, those were my images off of my Pentax 17. Those were the first three rolls that I got. Um, it was Ultramax 400, Kodak Gold 200, and Ilford Black and White. And I'm very happy with the results. In fact, I was quite blown away by some of the sharpness of this lens. Um, for me, I was, I was hoping it would be just as good as this camera, which is the Canon Demi, and a very good half-frame film camera. Um, I don't personally own Olympus FT or the Olympus line of half-frame film cameras or the Yoshika Samurai, but I, was, I would presume they're in around the same sort of level of quality, and I was hoping that it would be just as good, if not just a little bit better. And in my opinion, it's a little bit better, and uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, and it's become my everyday film camera. This is a camera I take with me everywhere I go. In fact, I went on holiday recently to Tokyo and this was my um, film camera that I use most of the time when I was there. Um, I will have a video on that very soon on the channel. But yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, I'm excited to see where Pentax goes in the future and what is next. From what I hear, there are some exciting things coming. Um, so I'm happy that I was able to support this um, company and brand uh, and show that we are um, very happy and grateful that they have made a new film camera in uh, 2024. That said, there are other options out there because I know for everyone to spend maybe um, 500 US dollars or 500 pounds, I, I can't quite remember the price exactly, um, it is quite a lot. So I do have a few other options. Um, we do have the Ektar H35 Kodak half frame film camera. Now this is basically a disposable camera. It's gonna get you that disposable effect. Um, especially this version, there is a newer version that has one glass element in the lens, I believe, and that's a little bit better. Um, it probably would be a fun camera to have to give to your friends at a party or something like that. Um, just capture a random moments, but it is a way to enter into film photography at probably one of the most affordable ways. Um, it's around 50 to 40 pounds, um, but yeah. That is one way to get into the half frame film camera or like I previously mentioned the Canon Demi um, I got this for about a hundred and uh, hundred and fifty ish pounds and it was in pretty good condition I've taken many photos with this and this was my everyday uh, film camera before um, it did have a few issues uh, there's one or two uh, occasions when uh, the film didn't roll on properly halfway through so I don't know why that happened and um, the uh, um, uh, viewfinder, sorry, not the viewfinder, the light meter wasn't always um, uh, working. So there were some times when I had to just sort of cover it and then expose it again and then it would start working. So you do get that with slightly older cameras. There are, you know, moments where things may not always go according to plan. However, I do like the 28 millimeter on this and uh, it paired very nicely with my Ricoh, which is also um, 28. Um, but yeah, since getting the Pentax, um, sadly I've had no use for any of these um, because it has basically become my everyday camera with the Ricoh. And uh, interestingly, they're made by the same company. Ricoh makes this and uh, Ricoh owns Pentax. And um, yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with it. I would recommend it, um, but I also recommend these because there's you know, uh, if you, you don't want to spend that kind of money, that's understandable, especially nowadays. Um, there are other options, and I think that's very important in our community when it comes to photography, that we have different options, um, you know, when it comes to uh, the camera. So, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you like the photos. Let me know what you think of the Pentax 17, if you've picked one up already, or you're going to pick one up in the future. And rest it down nicely and whoops and i will see you in the next one don't forget guys pick up a camera get out there and explore it doesn't matter what camera it is just have a good time be happy and i will see you soon bye bye